First Alert Weather with meteorologist Spencer Blum. It has been a weather full Sunday here in the Coachella Valley. Three main things are, that are happening, air quality, big boost of moisture, and cooler temperatures. Now, I like cooler temperatures, but not necessarily big boosts of moisture or unhealthy air quality. And as we look out from our Indian Wells Cam, you can still see it's a little bit hazy in the distance because our air quality is still being impacted, and, but it is improving. As we look at the upper atmosphere, we can see it, the ridge of high pressure is starting to move off to the northwest just a little bit. So by yesterday, you could see it was off closer to New Mexico. And then today, you can see it's a little bit closer to the Four Corners region. And that's going to allow for some counterclockwise flow to come into the Coachella Valley. You could just look at this little jet stream line here. You can kind of see that uh, counterclockwise flow. And that's what's bringing in the moisture and impacting the air quality. As we look at our air quality, it is still, it's getting better. Let's just say that it is getting better. We saw this whole the whole valley was red before, but now we have that unhealthy air quality isolated closer to the Salton Sea, and the rest of the valley is sitting in this orange color, which is unhealthy for some sensitive groups. So air quality is still a factor, but it is improving, and it's all because of the winds from the southwest, and those southwest winds are bringing in moisture. So this was from earlier today. You can see just continuous waves of moisture being brought into the valley, and you can see the cloud layer that it formed. We had a cloud layer at about 2,500 feet or so, between two and 3,000 feet, and it acted kind of like a blanket and helped to keep from the rays from the sun off of the surface. So it kept us a little bit cooler today, which is always nice. It was closer to 108 degrees instead of 114 degrees. So overall, it was slightly cooler, and that is thanks to the clouds, which cleared up around 4 o'clock, which is why in the later afternoon we had a big burst of heat. But as we look at our uh, dew points, so this is a measure of moisture in the atmosphere, by tomorrow morning, they're going to increase again. We have another wave coming in. And then by Tuesday, we can see we're going to start to see some drying. And as we look out at our first alert Comfort Air 7-day forecast, you can see tomorrow, Monday, has a slightly increased chance of storms thanks to that monsoonal moisture. Temperatures a little bit lower, closer to 111. And then as we look out to the rest of the next week, we're going to be seeing those temperatures closer to maybe 110, 115 degrees, that range, as opposed to 115 to 120 degrees. So definitely cooler than last week, but it is still very warm and hot nonetheless. So always practice your heat safety and your swamp coolers are going to be out of the picture for the next few days thanks to these higher dew points. Marion. Thank you, Spencer.